Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about hand tools on Dad It Yourself. Hey, so today we're going to talk about hand tools. And when I say hand tools, I'm talking about things like hammers, screwdrivers, tape measures, wrenches, and pliers. So many of the popular tool lines like Rigid, Milwaukee, Cobalt, and even the new Heart line have hand tools that augment their product lines. But as you can see, I own Ryobi tools. Where does that leave me? Sure, Ryobi makes some hand tools like these hammers, tape measures, and even this spring blade knife. And if you ordered the P1971 homeowner starter kit, you're the proud owner of two screwdrivers, a utility knife, and a pair of needle nose pliers. So before I bought into Ryobi, I've been collecting a variety of hand tools, uh, different assortments from different stores, auto parts, uh, Walmart and even the bin at uh, the dollar store, but a majority of my hand tools are actually craftsmen You guys remember craftsmen, right? Craftsmen 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 yes craftsmen we remember those Saturday trips to Sears with our dads and granddads Looking down those rows and rows of shiny craftsmen wrenches sockets screwdrivers and all the other tools we wanted it all we wanted that giant rolling toolbox with 500 pieces it was going to make us a master mechanic or a journeyman carpenter then we saw the prices wow so maybe we settled for that 18 piece tool set or like i did this 50 piece toolbox while sears sold craftsman tools exclusively for many years you can buy them still at Sears and other places, but Sears never actually made tools. They were made by companies like Western Forge, Stanley, Danaher, Apex Tool Company, just to name a few. Even Craftsman's 12 volt and 14 volt power line were manufactured by a different company. I wonder who that was. While many of Craftsman's hand tools were made here in the United States in a cost saving measure, Many were also made overseas in places like China. And as you can imagine, quality did suffer. Their reputation was tarnished. But in 2017, Stanley Black & Decker bought the Craftsman name and brand and is building a factory in Texas now and will manufacture all Craftsman tools back in the United States. But tools have become much more to us. Not only do we use them to fix things and build things, we collect them, we display them with pride, and we've become loyal brand followers. On any given day in a Facebook forum or a Reddit sub, there's a guy telling you that Rigid has the best warranty, Milwaukee is the strongest, or DeWalt is the best. But for me, it's Ryobi Lying Green. With its wide variety of shop tools, cordless tools, and yard equipment, Ryobi is my loyalty. Readily available at my local Home Depot or even online, I can get those tools at a reasonable price. But I still have all those Craftsman tools. Where does that leave me? Well, Craftsman's come through for me. They have a new homeowner's line called Evolve. They have a variety of hand tools, and the greatest thing yet, they're lime green. So let's take a look at what the Evolve line has and how it's going to augment my Ryobi tools. The first set I have is the Evolve 10061 locking plier set, which includes three pliers, two standard and one needle jaw. The 6-inch, 7-inch, and 10-inch. This set cost $45. These are very familiar, operate just like your standard vice grip, nice and solid. Next thing I have up is the Evolve 10068 10-piece screwdriver set. This comes with five Phillips and five flatheads, all in different sizes for different jobs. Let's see if I can get this open now. And there you have it, 10 pieces. These all come with the what they call the ergo grip. It's rubberized with the hard plastic really comfortable to hold, and then the polished uh, steel shanks. I also picked up the Evolve 10060 
six piece mini plier set. Uh, these are all four inch and then the needle nose, long needles are five and a half inch. This set costs $20. And let's open that up. Like I said, this set comes with six pieces. You have a pair of needle nose, a pair of angled needle nose, a pair of long needle nose, end nippers, uh, crimpers, there's no cutting edge on those, they're actually flat, and then a regular pair of nippers there. Like I said, this set was $20. Next up is the Evolve 10047 five piece plier set. It includes a pair of six inch needle nose, six inch diagonal cutters, six inch slip joint gas pliers, uh, a pair of lineman pliers, which are seven inch, and then a eight inch set of what they call groove pliers. Most of us call them channel locks. Let's get these opened. There we go, full size needle nose with the cutting edge, the groove pliers, the end nippers right there, a pair of lineman pliers with the cutter, and then your gas pliers with the slip connector. This set was $25. So the last item I purchased was the Evolve 10063 three-piece wrench set, which includes a 6, 8, and 10-inch adjustable wrench. This set was $30. Let's open that up. Here's the 6-inch, 8-inch, and the 10-inch. It's a really nice uh, wrench right there. And each one of these, it's hard to see, but they actually have markings. This one has zero to one and a quarter inches. This one has zero through about one and an eighth. And then this one has zero through, zero through, well, it looks about seven eighths. And then there's metric on the opposite sides as well. It's going to kind of help you get that bolt measured in right there. Like I said earlier, this set was $30. In addition to these tools, Craftsman also offers the 10028 20 piece homeowner's toolkit for $40, the 10026 200 piece mechanics tool set for $190, and the 41283 83 piece tool set for $80. There's also a variety of other ratchet sets, sockets, and miscellaneous tools you can buy. I'll have a link down in the video description to all the different Evolve tools available on Amazon.com. So now that I have all these new tools, I'm going to have to get this French cleat wall done, but that's another video for another time. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down below in the comments section. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.